Javante Tank Davis makes a major accusation about Devin the Dream Haney and why he lost to Ryan Garcia. And it ain't good, man. It's mighty anti-Islamic, as a matter of fact. Let's talk about that in this video. Javante Tank Davis makes a major accusation about Devin Haney, one that has been said about many other fighters, including Javante Davis at a point. And uh, if it's true, would be a bit of a shame. But let's get into that in this video. But before I do, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that bell icon. I mean, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can know when we drop videos. And also thank you to everybody that supports the channel. Uh, and thank you to everybody that supports in the super thanks of videos like this. Shout out to Barbara D, Maddie Yo, the whole crew. Thank you, Jeff Miller and Big Dre. Uh, but let's get into this because <sighs> famous words of Brian McIntyre was a drunk ain't S-H-I-T. A uh, drunk ain't S-H-I-T, and he said this before the fight, uh, well, about Errol Spence Jr. several years before Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. met in the ring and uh, didn't turn out well for Errol Spence Jr. So now you got Gervonta Davis, who is make, uh, who's made a bunch of comments about Devin Haney and uh, the Ryan Garcia fight, he actually got into some confrontation with uh, with with Devin Haney outside of a club and um, said something that was worrisome. He said that the reason that Devin Haney lost one of the reasons Devin Haney lost to Ryan Garcia was that he been drinking and he said, look how big and hu basically how huge and full Devin Haney's face looks. And that's because he's out there drinking. He said when he was young and he was hungry, you know, he was being very, very disciplined in between fights. And now what you see is him out drinking and face all kind of swole up. And that contributed to his loss against uh, Ryan Garcia. Pretty much lack of discipline. Now, uh, is there any proof for that? No. There is, however, obviously the fact. Now, I mean, I'm not going to say there's no, there's no proof that I know of right now. Maybe, you know, how people word gets around about what people are doing. You had Devin Haney at a club and, you know, he had bottles passed to him by Shakur Stevenson with, the, you know, the infamous uh, sign the contract, you know, sign the contract uh, message that was sent over from Shakur to, to, to Devin Haney. Then, of course, you had just last night, Devin Haney was in a club or the a couple nights ago, he was in a club. And that's where Javante Davis was trying to get in or trying to get at him on that videotape. So, you know, there's definitely, uh, you know, examples of Devin Haney being around alcohol. And it would not be the first time that boxers, you know, indulged in that. Uh, in between fights. Now, obviously, he wasn't doing it, or at least apparently he wasn't doing that during training camp while he's getting ready for Ryan Garcia. But hey, man, if you're doing that in between fights, that can absolutely, you know, affect you. Now, for the people that are going to get mad and say uh, that Gervonta Davis is doing this, just lying. Look, man, there's long precedent for this. Well, first of all, Gervonta Davis himself was somebody that used to do that. And you really could see in in pictures of Gervonta Davis exactly what you see in pictures of, of Devin Haney, which is in between fights, his face and his body really blowing up and not staying near the weight, uh, not staying near their fight weight. You can look at pictures from Gervonta Davis where uh Back when he was uh, missing weight at 130 pounds and 
Um, he missed weight at 130 pounds against Francisco, Francisco Fonseca. And then I think he had a hard time making it one time, maybe had to go to the scale twice against Yuriokas Gamboa at the uh, in when he first fought at 135 pounds. If you look at what he looks like in between those fights and you look at Devin Haney, their heads look that same way, look very, very bloated, like 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 they're full of water. And again, they would not be the only people to do that. You also had guys like Adrian Broner and Adrian Broner. If you don't remember when he was on HBO and he was really the up and coming young uh, star on HBO, you would have never thought that he was doing those things. If you would have been watching the 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 promotion around Adrian Broner, because they really sold Adrian as a hyper focused, hyper um hyper committed athlete, right? Running and training and right. All of that stuff looked like he was in tremendous shape all the time. But then we find out, hey, man, that that's not the truth. So this could be the case with Devin Haney. If it is the case, then Devin Haney should probably change it because he wouldn't have as hard a time making weight if he wasn't. And again, you know, I know from my understanding that alcohol is prohibited in Islam, but do not tell me that there are not Muslims that drink there. I'm there. There are just like they're not supposed to do a lot of stuff in Christianity. And hey, man, you get a lot of money. You get a lot of time on your hands. You got girls, you know, it's a lot of temptation. That's a lot of, um, you know, it can happen. But uh, I will tell you this, though, that it's really getting on the nerves of, you know, some real intense Devin Haney fans that Javante Davis is running down on Devin like this. And because he's been running down on Devin ever since Devin lost and saying, hey, man, is that clout chasing? Why is why is Javante Davis clout chasing Devin Haney? Look, man, that doesn't look like a clout chase to me. It looks like ridicule. It looks like he's chasing him for sure. Looks like he's chasing him and talking real bad about him because he doesn't like him. And and Javante Davis seemed to be very, very honest and upfront about that when he's asked about Devin and why he was uh, why he's uh, needling Devin like that. And he was like, look, man, I don't like Devin. And after all of the um, taunting and the smack talk that Devin and Devin Haney fans are doing, Devin's father was doing. I don't think you can uh, can expect much, much different. Now, I personally, again, hope that what they said about the drinking is not true, that he is uh that he is, uh, you know, clean living. And that's just, you know, something that that Ryan, that Durante is just throwing out there. Uh, but at the same time, there is definitely something that is having Devin Haney gain that much month, that much weight right after the fight is over, because the fight has only been the fights. What is it? 17 days since he lost to Ryan Garcia. And when he came out on ESPN and he show, showed his, uh, you know, when he talked about how Devin how uh, Ryan had cheated, man, his face looked extremely waterlogged. And, you know, that's just, it's not a good look. Maybe it's the diet, maybe it's greasy food, but look, man, it happened to Errol Spence Jr. It happened to Javante Davis. It happened to Adrian Bronner. It wouldn't be the first time that a young dude gets all of that money, can, has all the money, you know, that he could spend in a, you know, on him. Uh, and has women or whatever else you like all around you that you would do something like that. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.